Hey guys, back here playing some Kerbal Space Program. After our, uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and say successful because we we did it in the end. Um, launch of a Sputnik clone, uh, which was the first satellite to orbit the Earth. Now we need to send up the first Kerbal into space. Now the, um, you know, the first. Uh, Man space flight was the Vostok 1. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. This is a Soviet spacecraft in 1961 piloted by Yuri Gagarin. Again, probably pronounced that wrong. But he orbited the Earth for like an hour, hour and a half, and uh, came back down. So we're going to go ahead and try to uh, try to build his spaceship as, as close as we can. And see if uh, we can do that because, you know... Sputnik went so well. So we're going to need a um, a command pod there. We're definitely gonna, we're going to need a parachute to to get back down safely in the end. All right. So you know when you're building your rocket, you got to go kind of your last stage first, and then go to your first one. So you kind of start from the end and work your way to the beginning. So. We're going to want a decoupler because we don't want to land with our fuel tanks engaged. So we want a. Yeah, we want this one. I think it's the right size. There we go. And then we want a. Uh, we'll go with one of these big fuel tanks. And. Uh, what do we want? We want. One of those little guys. All right, so this is our last stage that'll so kind of get us in a circular orbit and get us back heading down into the atmosphere. And now we want ooh, our uh, stage that's going to get us up into orbit in the first place. Which was a structure? Yeah. Um, I always forget where the parts are. All right. So the second stage, we're going to go with a, no, we're going to go with one of these little fuel tanks because we're going to use some stabilizing thrusters. Um, then we're going to get one of these big fuel tanks for our rocket. And then as far as the engines go, we're going to use the, this guy. And we want some of the little thrusters. Where are the thrusters? Yeah, here's what we want. We're gonna want four of these. So this help us uh, stay stabilized. And now we need to get off of the ground. So for that, we're gonna want Structural. We're going to use some radial decouplers here. I think we'll. We're going to use the smaller fuel tanks for our boosters, so put it about halfway up. Good. We should probably um, get the no 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 oh no 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 yeah okay we want to get these lined up with our thruster blocks because I think if we don't that'll send us into a uh, pretty wicked spin. All right, we're gonna use uh, the T thirty engines. Does that look? No, no. Does that look like it's? Uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. And then we want some nose cones just uh, to help us get up in the air. All right. So here is our uh, first manned space flight. Should uh should work pretty good. 
Vostok 1. Alright. Who are we going to have pilot this? Jebediah, you're out, buddy. Because we want Valentina Kerman. She's the new hot stuff. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and save this. Oh, I almost forgot the most important part. Uh, where are you, buddy? Command and control. Command and control. We want the, the mech jab. We just want one mech jab. One of these guys. We'll put it over here. All right. So, stage one, we want to be all of our, sort of all of our rockets together, right? And then we'll ditch the boosters. And then when this tank runs out, we'll ditch that, we'll go off this engine. And then when we're coming down, we'll ditch that and parachute to safety. I think, uh, I think this might work. Hopefully, we can do this. We can do this in one try instead of uh, three videos. Oh, okay. So, ascent guidance. We want to orbit. Let's see. Um. Let's do like 200 kilometers, that seems okay. Alright. Limit to terminal velocity because we did have time with that last time. We will auto warp, auto stage, corrective steering. Alright. Let's uh Turn on our thrusters and launch this baby. Let's see if our uh, if our design can get us up there. Okay, we're starting to do this shit again. Why do all of our rockets just turn like that? Every one of them. I mean, is that the size? Is the mech jab? No, the mech jab's over there. Oh, we didn't have autopilot on. <sighs> okay. Take two. Um, helps to have the autopilot on. All right. Let's not limit the terminal velocity. Actually, let's just uh, let's just see if we can just get the fuck up there. All right. Go. Let's burn. I'm starting to spin. Some, uh, some drag here, but it looks like we're, we're doing good. Our boosters are just about done. Almost out of the worst of it. Hopefully we don't burn up. Got rid of the boosters. Starting our turn. Oh yeah, this is this is working out okay. We, we actually didn't spin the fuck out like our last rocket, so... That was definitely, we had some sort of design flaw that, you know, we couldn't account for. Okay, so we're almost up in the atmosphere. We've gotten rid of our main rocket. Now we're just sort of getting ourselves into position. Let's, let's check the orbit map. Here. Seventy nine, eighty. Mega Spetnik is still floating around out there. Let's check our, uh, check our fuel. All right, we honestly, we might want to. 
to set this to 150. Or shit, I don't even think we're gonna make that. Let's, let's make it 100. Once we get to 100, we'll circle out. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Mega Sputnik 2.0 is, is over there. Maybe in the future we'll spend a, send a ship. We will send a ship up to a rendezvous with it. You know, just see how it's going. Alright, let's check our orbit because we're going to run out of fuel soon, but we're almost there. Alright. Now it's, it's speeding up to our circleization burn. All right, looks like yeah, uh, looks like we did it, guys. First, no, oh, second try, second try. Look at this. We're in a uh, nice orbit around Kerbal. So now, uh, now it's time to bring uh, bring her home. Um, I'm not sure where the base is. Where is uh? Oh, it should have some sort of marker on there. So anyway, where do we want to land? Do we want to try to land in the desert? Let's see if uh, this will land in the desert. Let's go here. Um, landing, I think there's a thing that will help us land. Um, landing guidance. We want to, oh, Kerbal Space Program Pad. Yeah, um, land at the target. Right, so now we're just uh, flying around here. I'm not sure when. When it's going to have us start. Oh, there we go. All right. Now we're starting to head out of orbit. This is a beautiful game. Oh, there's the, the moon. Oh wait, what are we doing? Oh, just making some some last minute fine tuning. Looks like we're due to land. Uh, not quite there. But uh, we'll see how close it gets us. Just getting ourselves turned around in the right direction. Our rocket's a little wobbly there. Alright. Not 100% sure what's doing here. All right, now we're burning. Just trying to get back. Uh, oh, starting to re enter the atmosphere a little bit. Hopefully, we don't burn up. I haven't tried landing since they added in the uh, new aerodynamics. Oh man, 
We're almost out of fuel. Okay, hold on. Just land. Port the auto land. Land somewhere. Just land anywhere. I don't care if we land back at the space program right now. Just land. We just need to. We just need to land before we run it. We ran out of fuel, and we are not going to. Are we out of fuel? Well, Valentina Kerman, first woman in space. Unfortunately, you're not coming home. <laughs> <laughs> 